What's up guys, Shuckle King here, and this is my round of 16 matchup for Brawl for All round 4 against Techno. Uh, as you can see in, his cor in the corner, uh, Techno's team for most threatening, the least threatening my team is Heatran, Mega Pidgeot, Rotom, Azumarill, Sneasel, Neolego, Serena, and Dugtrio. Now, Heatran I feel like it's the most threatening Pokemon just because I have Celesteela and I have Registeel who can handle those very well. Fire types are a problem to my team if it's like an offensive life orb or specs and Venusaur doesn't handle it too well. Dauphin doesn't want to take a hit. Scold P doesn't either. Uh, Miss Magus has a hard time breaking through Heatran if it's special defensive. Uh, and Dragonite has a hard time if I don't have like Earthquake or something to hit the Heatran. Uh, so I gotta watch out for that. Vaporeon is my really only good answer to it. But if he's like a Solar Beam Heatran, he's not a Z Heatran, fortunately, which is nice. Uh, but if you had a like solar beam power herb, that could be a problem. Uh, Pidgeot is good just because it has fire coverage, so it's gonna do decent damage to Celesteel or Registeel enough where I can uh, sweep too easily with them until Pidgeot's weakened or killed. Uh, and Flying Spam is good against Venusaur, Donphan can't do much to it, uh, Sculpey I don't think can knock it out and such. Uh, Rotom is a pretty big problem just because Celesteela doesn't have a great move to hit uh, Rotom with, so I gotta figure out a way around that. Uh, also, Volt Switch is pretty easily on my team, and even though I have Dawn Fan, it can uh, Shadow Ball for decent damage or Will O Wisp it to uh, make it useless throughout the match. Uh, Miss Mages has speed, which is nice. Uh, Skull Peter can't do much damage to either. So, Rotom is a decent problem to the team, but I feel like I can wear it down throughout the match. Uh, Azumarill, if it gets a free switch, can be an issue, but I feel like I have ways around that, Venusaur being a great answer to it. Uh, the rest of the stuff I feel like are okay threats. Sneasel, obviously for the DNA, can be an issue. Neo Lego, if he's going to bring it, it's going to 100% be Scarf, that would be the Dragonite. Uh, but I do have uh, Scolopita, I have Registeel, Celesteela, even Vaporeon, all, even somewhat Venusaur handle Neo Lego pretty well. Serena, not an issue at all. Doug Trio, not an issue at all. Doug Trio really only traps Registeel on my team. Uh, so I don't think he's going to bring Doug Trio at all. Uh, so the three Pokemon on my team that I feel like had the best matchup are Celesteela. Just because Celesteela can really kill everything on the team depending on what Z move I have. Like uh, I can have Earthquake for Heatran, Stone Edge for Mega Pidgeot or Rotom somewhat. I can run a Grass move for Zumarill or just uh, Z Fly. Neolega doesn't want to take an Earthquake, Serena doesn't want to take a Flying move, Doug Trio, Sneasel don't really want to take moves in general. Uh, Registeel is also nice being a Steel type. Uh, I guess mine at the Heat right now, obviously. But, uh, it handles like the Neolego, Pidgeot, uh, Sneasel, Serena, can Toxic the Rotom if it doesn't have Volt Switch on it. So Registeel is just a glue, nice glue mon to have on the team. And Vaporeon just because it handles the Heat ran. I gotta bring Vaporeon in that case, because I am fairly fire weak as a team. Uh, so the first Pokemon I have, as you see here, is uh, Celesteela, uh, with enough speed to outspeed a Scarfed Rotom if he brings it, uh, because I think he's going to bring Scarfed Neolego, I would assume he's going to bring a more physically bulky Rotom to take on my Celesteela. Uh, I have Earthquake, Heavy Slam, Z, Rocky, and uh, Stone Edge, Autonomize. Uh, the Stone Edge is going to be to hit the Rotom. Uh, if he's Scarfed, I need one Stealth Rock, switch ends to kill if he's more defensive, I need a two Stealth Rock, switch ends to kill the, uh, the Rotom. So my goal is to try to get Stealth Rocks early up in the match, uh, wear down the Rotom enough so uh, Celesteela can get a plus two speed and then hopefully sweep at the end there. Uh, Earthquake to hit like the Heat Ran and such, and uh, Heavy Slam is just good stab otherwise for his team. I didn't feel like I needed a flying coverage. Registeel is next. Uh, my Stealth Rocker with uh, Iron Head, Earthquake, and Toxic. Toxic for the, uh, I guess the Serena somewhat, but mainly for the Rotom, the word out down again for Celesteela. Uh, my spread here allows me to take either two Earthquakes from Doug Trio or uh, a Z Earthquake from Doug Trio, and when I take a Z, it brings me under 75%. So on my first turn, I either Stealth Rock or uh, Iron Head to Doug Trio, and then from there, I'll get my Custap off who uses the Z ground to either uh, hit it a second time, probably killing it, or getting my Stealth Rocks up, depending on what I do there. And uh, if he doesn't go for Z ground, then I should be able to kill it and get my Rocks up, which will be very nice. 
And with this spread, I should not be too KO'd by Omega Pidgeot. That's why I didn't go with a more specially defensive spread. And Neolego can't do a ton to me either. Uh, next Pokemon I have is Vaporeon, which another answer to Mega Pidgeot. I am max specially defensive. I also take on a Heat Ran extremely well. Uh, Neolego shouldn't be that big of a problem even with Thunderbolt. And uh, Rotom can't do a ton to me unless he specs, but I would highly doubt that he would bring that type of set against me. Uh, but Ton Pass, for my momentum, uh, I figured I didn't really need a Heal Bell in this matchup because he has a more offensive team. Next, I have Venusaur. It's a pretty cool set. Uh, the speed is to add speed a Heat Ran. Uh, assuming he brings max speed, he might bring enough speed to like speed creep a Mega Venusaur. But even if he does bring like a max speed, he's not going to be Scarfed, I'm pretty confident. He, because Scarfed uh, still gets outsped by uh, Celesteel at plus two. So I don't think that makes too much sense to bring Scarfed Heat Ran. Um, but I have Earthquake, Power Whip, Knock Off Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder. Uh, for a potential lead he wants to uh, start with. Uh, Earthquake is there to kill the Heat Ran. Knock Off is to hit the uh, Rotom in the Serena. And then Power Whip is for Stab. I don't hit Mega Pidgeot too well, uh, but I should be able to live one hit maybe, unless he's modest. Uh, next I have Scolipede. Uh, and I'll speed to outspeed Neolego. Assuming he brings Scarfed, I have Protect to guarantee that speed at a plus one. And kill with Earthquake, and then I have Poison Jab Rock Slide. Rock Slide to hit the, uh, the Rotom again as well, to Pidgeot. Uh, and Poison Jab is a, a better stab move. It also hits the Azumarill. I didn't think the bug coverage was super helpful, because Poison Jab basically hits everything that the Megahorn would hit otherwise. And last, I have a Dragonite. Lumberry is to a, take a Will O Wisp from a Rotom. Uh, but otherwise, Dragon Dance, uh, enough speed to outspeed a max speed Pidgeot. I also had speed a modest uh, Heat Ran, which is nice. Uh, Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet is to hit the Neoligo. Uh, Thunder Punch is there to hit the uh, Azumarill and Mega Pidgeot somewhat. And Dragon Claw for Stab. I don't do a ton to Heat Ran, even though I outspeed modest. But I have enough speed to outspeed a Pidgeot is the main objective there. Uh, so I feel pretty confident in this team, but we'll see how the game goes in the match. Alright, here's my round of 16 matchup against Techno. And as we can see here, he doesn't have Sneasel. Uh, and he didn't bring Doug Tree, I'm not too surprised about. Uh, not bringing Sneasel 100% means that he has Scarf Neoligo to handle my Dragonite, because my Dragonite would just run shop otherwise. Uh, so I figured he did have that. Uh, he's probably a more bulkier Rotom spread. So I want to make sure I get my Stealth Rocks up and get two, get about 25% off of it before Celesteel can sweep at the end. Uh, because he doesn't have Doug Trio and has Heat Ran, I'm pretty confident to lead with my uh, Mega Venusaur and hope I can get a surprise kill on it with my uh, Earthquake Venusaur. He has Air Balloon, uh, which is a little unfortunate, not too surprising. That'd be a good answer to an Earthquake Celesteel. Um, so I'm going to go for the Sleep Powder here. So I don't want him to get uh, Stealth Rocks up because I have Dragonite and Skull P without has removal. Uh, and now I'm going to knock off his uh, Air Balloon. And from this, he has to now max attack. So he's not going to stay in. So he knows I would have Earthquake. But there's no reason for me to overpredict just because getting rid of Heat Ran would be so nice. Uh, so he brings in the Pidgeot. That's fine. I have a decent answer in Registeel. And I should be able to get up my rocks here because I can live two hits. Uh, but I get crit out of heat wave. Now that stinks because I can't get my rocks up. Uh, so Rotom is a big problem in this matchup. Uh, I still have Vaporeon to handle this Pidgeot pretty well, but not getting the rocks up now is really unfortunate. And I don't want to sack up my Registeel just yet, so I hope I can get rocks up later in the game. Uh, so now I'm forced to go into my Vaporeon and try to kill this Heat Ran, but he burned off enough turns of sleep where he's able to get rocks up now, which really sucks, but uh, I should eventually be able to kill this Heat Ran here with my Vaporeon at hopefully pretty high health. I go for a Scald, misses the Magma Storm, doesn't make a difference really because I wished before. He taunts now so I can wish up, uh, but that doesn't make too much of a difference because I'll be at pretty high HP either way by killing this uh, this uh, Heat Ran now. Uh, so that's decent for me, not having rocks up stinks as well as him having rocks in this game. Uh, it goes in the Zoomerel here, I have a 100% safe switch in in the Venusaur. 
who's not as useful because a heat ran's down. Uh, it still can take a hit from uh, Rotom and Serena pretty well, but it was more to handle the, uh, the heat ran. Uh, so I don't have a move to hit the Serena with, but I went for the Sleep Powder uh, in the off chance that he would stay in, so it'd be very nice to get a Sleep off, or if he goes into Mega Pidgeot on my Venusaur, knowing that I can't do much to that. He makes a crack plan going to Serena, uh, which I'm fine with, because he can't do a whole lot to me, I can't do a whole lot to him. So I get rid of Leftovers, which will cut down Longevity, that'll be nice throughout the match. Venusaur isn't as useful now. Uh, I do have a safe switch in into my Vaporeon here. I should be able to take on Pidgeot, really no problems. Goes for the Hurricane here, and he gets to Confusion. Uh, not a big deal, unless I get confused here, and then I'll be going down. Uh, so I can just switch back up, uh, but he gets to Confusion. Now, I'm, that's a really that's really unfortunate there. Uh, I could have potentially, I guess, stalled out my, uh, his Hurricane. Would have been maybe the plan there. At some point, I could have scolded, hopefully get a burn. He could have had work up in that case. Uh, but regardless, now my uh, Vaporeon's useless at this point, uh, which really blows. Uh, yeah, so I'm in a pretty bad situation, but I feel like I can still win with Celesteela if I can get rocks up at some point. Try to go for the double protect. That'd be my only case of uh, living a hurricane, but I actually get confused twice in a row, one out of nine chance. But it happens. I hope he misplays and stays in, so I'm going to go pretty autonomized, and then hopefully get the kill on that Pidgeot to uh, open a door for like a Dragonite or a Scolipede to potentially sweep later on. But he switches and makes the right play. Uh, does not do a lot of damage. Based on that damage on Venusaur, he has no special attack investment, uh, so he's definitely a bulkier spread, which is fine. Uh, I get knocked out by a Hurricane. Uh, I go in here. Yeah, I guess at this point he either assumes... I guess either I made a misplay and forgot the heat wave could have missed, which I didn't. But I run Registeel because I do have Custab. So I'm assuming he's either thinking I made a misplay, which probably not. I don't think he would assume I would do that. Or I would uh, explode here. So he goes into the... Uh, he goes into the Rotom. So that's a good play on his part. But I use his chance to get up my rocks. I could have Toxic there, which uh, would have been nice uh, to get that little bit of damage in the Rotom. But... It would have been a whole lot either way. Uh, so I have just damage what I have that's in front of me. Uh, Serena's going to be able to get these rocks out of the way. And there's no point in me spamming rocks. I don't have leftovers. I'm going to die eventually. So I might as well hit this as, for as hard as I can with Iron Head before I go down. Uh, this does give me an opportunity to set up a Dragon Dance with uh, with my uh, Dragonite. Uh, and then he U-turns he's going to go right into Neil I go. Uh, at this point, I know it's going to be very difficult for me to win this game because uh, I know it's 100% Scarf Neolego. I can't. I could have risked it maybe and gone for the Dragon Claw there. Uh, so I guess my plays here were either to Dragon Claw and kill the uh, Neolego or go for the Aqua Jet and hopefully get the crit. But if I go for the Dragon Claw and he's not Scarf, I'm in good shape. But if I Dragon Claw and I Scarf, I lose. If I Aqua Jet and I don't get the crit, I lose. But if I Aqua Jet and he wasn't Scarfed, then that was probably a bad play there. But I am very confident he is Scarfed. Then at the end of the match, he was Scarfed. Uh, so I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet, hopefully get the crit. And I do not. Uh, and then he's going to kill me with the uh, Power Gem. Uh, so I sell a Steel and Skull up he left. Uh, if I can get a Speed Boost with Celesteela somehow, I still have a decent chance. And if I flinch his team down to Rockside, I could have a chance with Skull Pete as well. Uh, so I predict... Protect, no uh, reason to predict him switching out. I want to get that speed and guaranteed kill it in the Lego. I guess I could have missed Rockslide there, but I was predicting to switch into Pidgeot, potentially, maybe, or to Rotom. Uh, so now I Rockslide here, I just basically need to flinch this down to give myself a chance. I got a flinch, so that's good. Uh, I'm still in this game here. Um, Rockslide again, I do not get the flinch. And he goes for the Volt Switch. Uh, Volt Switch is a fine play just because uh, I can't kill the Mega Pidgeot from the damage I'm at. And even if I get a crit or so, I don't think it really makes a difference. I lose this game either way. Uh, so I Rock Slide, I get a flinch, which you'll see here. It's nice, so I guess he can't roost up. Uh, but I have to essentially go into Celesteela and hope he doesn't have Aqua Jet on Azumarill, which is extremely unlikely. But I'm going to go for the Autonomize and then get the kill on this Pidgeot. Uh, so there you go, at least I get something out of the Celesteela. Uh, and then he goes into 
Azumarill, and then knocks me out with the Aqua Jet. Uh, so, good game, Techno. Uh, unfortunate hacks in the beginning of the game with the, uh, the crit and the Registeel, that really put me back. Because I had a good chance to get rocks up at that point uh, early on and chipped his team enough to where I feel like Celesteel had a pretty good chance to win at the end there. Uh, but overall, good game. Uh, I feel like I did pretty well this tournament. Uh, Ms. Mages really came in clutch. I think she might have had the most kills on this team. I'm not sure. It's either that or uh, Dragonite. I'm not sure. Uh, Dragonite was cool as a second round pick. Uh, Scolope was really nice as a very late round pick. Vaporeon was good as a fire resist because I faced a ton of fires throughout this tournament for some reason. Uh, Celesteel is a monster. This was really the first time. I was able to use Celesteela, and I definitely would invest this Pokemon in the future. It's so good defensively and offensively. Uh, Registeel was a little bit of a disappointment. I did have Celesteela, so maybe having dual steals wasn't the greatest. Uh, and I didn't have a whole lot of opportunities to use Registeel. That's okay. Uh, Donphan, as my hatch removal, was fine. But between Donphan and Registeel, they both had rocks. Plus, Donphan also had removal. It was a lot more useful to have Donphan and Registeel in most matchups. And I did have Defog on Dragonite, the possibility if I didn't need multi-scale, but I was going to be extremely limited opportunities for that. Uh, and Venusaur, very cool Pokemon, obviously. Venusaur plus Celesteela was a pretty cool core. I guess that plus a Vaporeon as well. That was a nice defensive backbone there. Uh, but overall, I had a good experience here. Uh, and I'll see you guys for the next tournament. I should be posting uh, NJNP has a uh, draft league uh, on his uh, Discord. So I'll be posting my draft analysis for that in the next couple days. Uh, so until next time, I'll see you guys later.